Hello, Gaz Williams here, and I'm looking at Studio One version four, which has just come out, and specifically the chord track function. Now, chord tracks, um, there's been one in Cubase for a while, and I use it a lot, but what's intrigued me about the Studio One version is that it's, it can do something that I haven't seen before, which is that we can actually extract chords from existing audio tracks so I've brought in Mr. Blue Sky by ELO here if I look in my right click in a menu I got extract a chord track so it'll do a little uh, you know process Pop. and now at the top we've got the chord track now this chord track if you just see it you toggle this button at the top here but look ooh F E A I think that should be a minor but it's it, I think it's all good though. E A D G E minor seven D flat C seven F, F yes F F E minor that's better. So it's pretty close. I mean, it's the thing is, you can tweak it then. I mean, it, it, it gives you an incredibly good starting point of a analysis of a song. But I mean, like any of those boxes, so you know, because um, that E minor seven, I think the first time it just de detected it as an E seven. Uh, so I can go into that and just rectify it and turn it into a minor. And similarly, if it didn't get it in the right place, you could also delete or change the starts, slide them around, etc., etc. So f the chord track's fully editable. Now, that's cool. So I've got another example here to test, which is Life on Mars by David Bowie. And similar thing, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go extract a chord track. It's uh, having a little think. There we go, it's done. Um, Let's have a look at this now. F. F. E. So it's. It's basically right though. Flat, nice, E, F, F sharp, C sharp, A, B flat minor, B, B, B flat, G minor, F, so yeah, C sharp minor. B flat, B flat, G flat. I think it. So I think it, you know, hasn't quite got everything exactly right, but blimey, it gets it really close though. So I mean, that's super useful for learning songs, um, for also, well, as a, you can do all sorts of stuff with the chord track it can connect to midi tracks it can influence everything else that's another video i thought i'd just show you that though so far that's pretty cool guys williams see you next time